I was already did the other ones. Might as well tell this story too. Air Jordan Five Retro White Varsity Red Mid Navy. I wish it can go back to that price. I know you guys do too, man. One fifty plus ten dollars up. What's that? One sixty. I don't mind paying that all day. That one I did keep the paper in, but these. The story behind these was fucking insane. You know, these are Independence Days. We all know when they came out. You know, see the bottom. Now, when I first seen these, I kind of wanted to pass on them. Because of simple reasoning. And if y'all don't already know, already said, you know what I'm saying, get out the way. Look at the creasing. Let me turn it this way. Look at the creasing on that. So you can imagine, like, the whole shoe is dope. You know what I'm saying? But the creasing. Then... Got something like on the little netting right there. You feel me? So once this happened, through. Didn't rock them no more. What that other little, it's another little scuff somewhere. Here it go. Scuff right here. Now I know you're like, damn, that's an ankle. So what did you scrape against? I got no fucking idea what I scraped against. I didn't try soap, water, bleach, everything to get that off. So once all that shit happened, to me it just, I don't know. It's just too many things on the shoe that made it just like, uh, you can't do that. Because to me, that little shit right there makes me seem dirty. Don't ask me why, but that's just me. But the crazy thing about these, right? Now, it was the one year when these dropped. And me and my boy, I was going with him, you know, his girl and, and shit like that. And family and shit. We was going to, uh, where the fuck did we go? Six Flags, right? For the 4th of July. Now, these motherfuckers was about to come out. I think they came out... The same day that we went. So I wanted to make sure that I got them so I can wear them there. But it didn't pan out like that because we left super fucking early. You know what I mean? So I was mad and I was like, fuck, because I already had the, the whole thing picked out for us. You know what I mean? The Independence Day colors because you see the red, white, and blue. You know what I mean? And I was like, yeah, I'm going to be the only one with them. I'm going to be fresh at that motherfucker. That didn't pan out right. So a nigga... Packed the extra set of clothes for nothing. It was hot as fuck. So it was like, you know, when it's hot, I wear my shorts out there. When it get cold, I have some jeans. So anyway, I ended up rocking the um, True Blue 3. Still with Sly, though. You know what I mean? But I was like, if I see somebody with these on, I'm going to be mad as a motherfucker. And, and yes, I did. Seen some fucking kid with them on. Not a kid, but you know what I mean? I guess he was a preteen or something like that. Had them on, you know, khaki shorts, of course. Y'all already know what it is. And everything. And I was like pissed. But the main thing that got me to um, want these motherfuckers, like, look at the jump, man. Still intact. Told you, man, I don't really wear my shoes. It was, what had me sold was the colorway. And I was like, damn, I don't like a five, but that's kind of sick. And I don't really fuck with shoes that got a lot of white in it. But other than that, I was like, fuck it, you know what I mean? I'll go ahead and grab them. But this shit right here, I knew for a fashion, this why I wasn't going to fuck with it. Because it was that patent leather, and we all know patent leather. And fives, to me, that wasn't going to mix. Now, as far as it being back here, nice touch. I wasn't mad at that. But then when I seen it on the toe box, I was like, oh, no, nah, man. Because when they crease, they going to crease. And that's patent leather. When patent leather crease, that look ugly as fuck. If you had some 11s before that crease, you know what I'm talking about. And it's just not a, a good thing if you, like, get a scratch on the patent leather and everything like that. just fucked up. So I wasn't sold on that. You know you know how, like, sometimes companies like Nike or Jordan Brand will send early pictures out or somebody will jack a, you know, a sample of a shoe and put it out there? At first, the pictures I seen, yes, it was authentic. This was leather. It wasn't this this patent leather shit. If you look at the shoe, I honestly think this was a last-minute decision to just, oh, well, just throw patent leather on the front and the back, you know, to actually try to sell the shoe, you know what I mean, to people, oh, that's sick. But in a way, stupid as fuck, in my opinion, you know what I mean? And at the end of the day, this gray tongue, I was like, why would it be gray? It ain't no fucking gray nowhere else on the shoe. It's supposed to be Independence Day. That was stupid. The tongue should have been blue with this right here. And the outline right here should have been white. Keep that whole theme going. I guess it's something different. But to me, that always threw me off of the shoe. You feel me? But, so anyway, you know, I go to Six Flags. I'm, you know, kind of pissed or whatever. Like, oh, man, I ain't got my shit. I can't rock my shit. You know what I mean? And the more people started coming, you know, the more I was, like, looking and shit to see if somebody else had them on. I think it was, like, two more other people. But then I realized, like, fuck it, it don't really matter because... All the wear and tear from walking around the whole theme park. You know, you got to watch it for kids spilling shit. 
Luckily, I did, you know, wear what I wore because I would have been mad at the end of the day. Some fresh shoes, they wouldn't have been looking fresh no more. So I wasn't mad. And then once it hit dark time, you can't even see these motherfuckers no more. You dig what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I wasn't mad about that. But I definitely had to have these in the collection. Like, I was like, yeah, these motherfuckers is fire. You know what I mean? And then after the metallic joints, I forget which came out first. Was it these or, or was it the I think it was the metallic joints first. And then I had seen these and got these. You know what I'm saying? Or it was these and then got the metallic joints. But it, it just was like, I didn't give a fuck. I just had to have them. And then the jump man on the back, that red with the blue, it was just sick, though. You feel me? And I instantly was like, man, what hack? I'm a Patriots fan. Yes, I'm a Patriots fan. Patriots hat. Fucked with it. You instantly went and got it. You feel me? I was like, hell yeah, it go with it. So fucking good. And, you know, I had some good times in the shoe, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, you get a couple of stairs. You know what I mean? But the last time I did try to um, bring them back out, it only makes the creasing more fucked up, as you see. Now you can definitely see. So everybody be buying fives and shit. I don't give a fuck if you get shoe trees to pit them motherfuckers or whatever. They gonna crease regardless, though. And I'm quite sure everybody that got fives know that. There's no way getting around that shit. And honestly, I was watching an interview with Chink's Drugs, and I was like, what shoes he got on? And I had seen a nigga with these on. I was like, because I forgot I got them. I'm like, don't I got them motherfuckers? And I go look through the bar, like, oh, I do got them. But I, I was going to try to rock my shit, but I couldn't do it. Not because that nigga had them on, but he made me remember. But I forget, you know, with rappers or any any people that's like rich and shit, y'all, they get J's like, you know, regular J's. And this is shit that kills me. Why is it when celebrities get something like these? A regular celebrity can have them, you know what I'm saying? Just like we got them. But people go crazy when they have them on. And like, oh, he looks so clean in them, da 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 And it's like an average person can have them, and it's like, it's not a big deal. I think that's the weirdest shit, because, like, I used to see a lot of people in magazines and shit have on the same J's we can get. They ain't that exclusive. They retail shoes, but I guess it's because of the celebrity got them on. In my mind, I'd be thinking, if I'm a celebrity, why the fuck would I want a retail shoe everybody can get? If I'm going to be in pictures and magazines, I want some shit that's exclusive. I always found that shit to be weird because a lot of people are like, oh, you got the J so-and-so hat on? I done been in so many shoe stores. Niggas done brought magazines. They done downloaded pictures. Going in shoe stores to get the same fucking shoe that's in retail, but they only warned it because that artist that they like had them on. I think that shit is crazy, though. You feel me? I liked it to shoot because of the fucking colorway. And mind you, the interview I'm talking about, I saw that shit a couple months ago. I said to bring them back out. But the patent leather shit, it was a wrap, man. It was over with. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, it was great getting these, but I think it would have been flyer if I could have had them on 4th of July at Six Flags during the motherfucking um, fireworks show. You dig? But... Other than that, the only other fives I would have wanted was in Bel Air fives. Because I just think that colorway is so fucking sick. I don't care about the, the Fresh Prince show and all that. To me, that's just a sick shoe. I like bright colors and shit. And I don't know homo shit, but shit that's different. You feel me? Even them um, skunk dunks or them uh, Freddy Cougar dunks or Jason dunks, whatever you want to call it. This shit that's different, that's like... Thinking out the box, you feel me? So at the end of the day, I know, well, everybody had these. Yeah, but it's not who has them. It's how you have them. You feel what I'm saying? Anybody can have these J's, but it's how you rock them from, you know, how you do your shoestrings, how the tongue is. You feel me? Just different shit. Nobody will wear that shit like this. With this hanging off and the shoestrings, this fucking unlaced and everything like that. I think you got to make a shoe look clean because I see people that have them like, look at that. Look how that looks, right? That may, If I seen that picture of somebody taking a picture like that, I would see them and I would want those shoes because they're selling them. Like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, damn, like, them motherfuckers look clean. But if you have them all laced up all together and shit, you know what I mean, tied up to the top, it, it, don't, it don't look right. So it's about how you rock your shit, you know what I'm saying? I forgot who had said that in the rhyme, like, he had said something to the fact that, yeah, you got J's, but he ain't rocking them right. It's how you rock this shit, you feel me? So, at the end of the day, i still bring them out one more time, though. I'll probably, you know, clean them up the patent leather, leave it just like this, throw it on, white tee, throw in a hat, call it a day, and just go while I'm going, you know what I mean? But that's just me. I'm just different like that. I wouldn't give a fuck what somebody said, because if you know me, you see me in public, you already know how I do. You already know how, you know what I mean, how I, I fucking... You know what I mean? Just how I rock my shit and 
you gotta give it the fuck up. You already know what's good. Cause I ain't saying I do this when it comes to shoes. Who give a fuck about shoes? But I mean, if you gonna do it, do it right. So, you know what I mean? That's just a little side note to people that I know be watching and trying to steal a little shit here and there. But, you know, shout out to everybody fuck with Jay's Authentics or Replicas. And I keep it a stack. The only shoes that I would ever fucking get a super perfect us of is the Bel Air 5s. So if you ever see me with the motherfuckers, I'm saying it now. Unless I did get them from retail from somebody or pay overpriced, the receipt will be with them. But 9 times out of 10, if I fucking get them, I'm keeping it a trill. I'm going to get the motherfucking super perfect because it's not based on the shoe itself it's just based on the feeling of wearing a shoe that's that color because it's just the color i don't give a fuck about the shoe it's just that moment so i probably will fucking you know get a pair of them and rock them because i can do that because as much money as i spend and it's probably people that spend way more money but it's just the point of it's just the moment you feel me? So at the end of the day, you can say what the fuck you want. You spend your money on what you want. I feel I done bought enough authentic shoes. Shit, I can sit there and get me something that's just a fill of the shoe. You know what I'm saying? Not saying I'm going to try to put it in my collection like, oh, yeah, yeah, I got. Nah, just, you know what I mean? Just for the moment. And I'll probably throw that bitch in the closet, give it away or something like that. But it's just whatever. Yeah, I know Super Perfect is like a hundred and something dollars, but it's just the moment. You know what I'm saying? Have my month, give them away, or, you know what I'm saying? Throw them away. It don't matter, though, but that's just a quick little story on three of my shoes that I feel is throwback, and I just want to talk about. More to come. Stay tuned, man. Peace out. Oh, and to hate motherfuckers that be saying, oh, it seems like I do videos for nothing. You niggas is new to the channel. You ain't been with the movement since day one, so y'all can eat a dick. Pause. But to the real subs, I see y'all out there. A nigga damn near 500, so definitely, man, if if I can get to 500 subs, I'll start bringing back some of my throwback material, man. That's real rap, man. Y'all stay up. One.